Alrighty, this is going to be a live VOD review. I haven't watched this at all. I have no idea what's going to be going on. Um, so, uh, yeah, we'll we'll see what, what happens and try to address some stuff as, as we go. Um, let's get this started. I don't want to take too long with it. Um, so generally speaking, on this map, you want to walk on the right side of the statue going in. Okay, you're hard. You guys already have a pick. It's coded. Um, one very quick thing. This is very minor, but always go on the left side of the statue or of the bus because when you peek around this corner here they all have LOS on you, and you do not want to have LOS on them. You you want to be playing out of line of sight as much as possible, so if you come on this left side, they can't see you, but you can heal your tanks. Um, so that's just uh, something useful to keep in mind. Because if they have a good DPS, you're, you're probably just going to be dead here. Uh, also, be careful about lamps. Um, I know Brandon isn't very experienced, but he can literally just back up and you can keep him alive with your shift and your right clicks. Using your lamp early here, I talked to you about this, but if they, for example, had a BAP and used window, you no longer have window, or uh, you no longer have lamp to deal with that, or if like your whole team's about to die. One other thing to keep in mind is you should stop stop jumping like this. If you want to be jumping, you should use your control. But um, when you're jumping like you are right now, it just fucks with your aim. It makes you actually easier to hit by the other team, um, and it fucks your aim up. So. You want to be, as BAP, you want to be very careful of peeking, because they will try to kill you. Like, you especially. You're probably the most valuable target. So with window, you want to use window to engage. Um, I told you to watch Gem last on, on Sunday. Hopefully you kind of got something out of that and, and saw where she's using window, where she's positioning, how she's shooting people and stuff like that. Um, but you generally want to use your window, not when your team is already down in the fight. You want to use it to initiate a fight. Um, so like... We would use a window, for example, our team walks in and we window like right here at the very beginning of the fight. So that way our whole entire team can utilize the window while we're fighting. Um, and while we're fighting, the enemy team is at a disadvantage unless they use some other alt. Um, if you know, if you get picked and then are not in position to use your window at the beginning of the fight, it's quite unfortunate. Um, And so now you're, you're gonna die and get no value out of your window. Okay, I think also, if you could get uh, scrim bots, that'd be even better. That's good, Josh. Good shit. Uh, 
I would also be very careful about DPSing like this. Like you, you can, but if they just literally turn around, you're dead. I think in, in general, your positioning is a little too far forward, which is causing you to kind of have to, like you, you're in the fight and you have to 180 to heal people and 180 to heal more people and turn all, uh, every which way in order to heal people. If you're having to do that, that's because you're too far forward. Um, like right here, for example, this this is the kind of angle that you want to have on your team. You want to be able to see everybody in front of you. And like, yeah, your diva will go off and do a flank, but unless he's like hard throwing, he'll just take a little bit of damage and come back to you. You don't really have to worry about him. You don't have to go to him on the flank. Um, by keeping your team like this, it, all in front of you, so you only have to, like, if you want to aim at anybody, okay, I aim at the Hanzo, I aim at the Rhine, I aim at the Kree, instead of here where, okay, I'm going to heal my Rhine, all right, now I'm going to heal my Kree, all right, now I'm going to heal my Hanzo, and you have to keep 180ing and, and spinning all over the place to heal everybody. It's just making it harder on you. Um, the same thing with the whole jumping all the time thing. It's just making it more difficult for you. I would land your Rhine there. You had the right idea. You just leave. So with your window right here, what I want for you to do, this is this should be your initiation tool, your team. Um, so you guys should walk up probably to like here and you want a window like right here or you want a window like right here or honestly even like right here in this choke um, to start off the fight. That's what we should be looking for. We cannot let the dragon consume you. So now, because you win this fight with this dragon, now your whole team, your Lucio should be on cart, probably. Or honestly, you should probably be on cart for now. Your team chases everybody, and then you take space, and you're going to hold this corner. And you're going to window right here. Right at this corner, right when their team is walking past this corner. So, like, you see their Rhine Shield right here, or right here, boom, you window. That's the timing that you're looking for. So, your, your team should be taking space. Don't, don't play on this high ground with Josh. Play right here with your core. Um, you want to stay with your Rhine as much as possible. Josh doesn't need your support, he can run away if he gets pressured. Your Lucio should be on cart, he's throwing. But again, you need to be in position. These guys are going to walk up. You initiate with your ult. You need to be holding this corner right here, watching them walk up. So that you know exactly when you need to ult. Healing this little bit of poke damage is not that important. And so now their Rhine is right where you want him. Like you need to be windowing right now because this Rhine is just going to get absolutely fucking melted and their team cannot walk up. And so you just keep pushing cart for free. This is what you want right here. Boom, window, melt the Rhine. But because you're up here, you cannot window your team. And so uh, they'll be able to contest this fight when they really shouldn't be able to. So like, look how far their team has walked. They don't have speed boost. They've literally, they've they've fucking waddled from here 
They're just waddling, 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 and now they're in your team. You can just punish this. Like, they, they're not walking fast. You can just annihilate them with your window. So this, this window here is good for you to keep your team alive, but, like, imagine the value if your entire team could use it. Don't drop off high ground. If you're playing on high ground, don't drop off it. Especially when you have a window up on high ground. <laughs> so yeah, like your window got no value at all, pretty much. And you guys lost that fight. Even though you had all, all the damage. Unnecessary lamp. It's a high ground. If you can. Let's keep it going. This tracer can't contest you on high ground. Just play, play up here. If Josh needs help, he can fly to you. <laughs> also, look at your positioning right now. I know your team is respawning, but like. That's a Zarya. You're gonna fucking die. If you can, you wanna. I, I would recommend in this situation, while you and Josh are contesting, you play up here in this little doorway here. You can peek down, heal Josh. He can fly up to you if you need. And then if Josh dies, you just back up and rejoin your team. Or you can just chill up here and then drop down into your team again. But when you're, when you're like right here. Bro, you're, you're fucking, you're fucking in there like swimwear, my guy. Oh, you should die here. The Sarius. Oh my god. You should have died, 100%. The Sarius should have just rolled it. So on this point, I, I'm just going to tell you window location. So you want to put windows on corners. So like if they're holding this corner right here, you want to window this corner. But usually, like right now, for example, you should have one person on cart, probably your Lucio, unless he's respawning. I don't see your Lucio. Um, you should have your Lucio on cart, and the rest of you should be holding this corner. And so then when you see their Ryan walking up, their, their Rhine will usually come from this side. You'll see him walking up, like, right here. Boom, you window. Right as the Rhine's right here. And you just fucking shred that guy. You force their immortality. You force all their DM out. They don't even have a Divas. They don't even have a speed boost. You should just, like, it's just free. You just fucking kill them all. This is really good positioning right here. You just want to be careful of the flanks. You can use the cart to shield yourself. So now, if this Zarya had a brain and any charge at all, you would be dead. Um, so you can jump up to this high ground. You can also play up here. I would really just chill on the cart and get the passive healing. Um, but like, you're like in, you're frontlining right now, and you don't need to be. You have a Korean diva to protect you. Also, um, I, I'm sorry, I'm nitpicking a lot, but these are the things that, that you need to think about. Um, why are you jumping? Think about why you're jumping. Do you need to be jumping right now? If you jump over your Rhine shield, is that a good thing? They have a high noon, they can pick you with Kree. Their Ana can sleep you if you jump. Do you want to be jumping right now? Sometimes you need to jump, for sure. And I'm not telling you to not jump, but do you need to be jumping right now? Can we do it right here? That's a really good lamp. I don't know how you predicted that, but... Uh, 
So you keep your team alive right here. You can drop and window right here, and boom, your Diva has the Ant Matrix. Your Ana's here. Your Hanzo can come over and use it. Your Kree's right here too. He's probably dead, but this would be a really good window because um, you can kind of use it to regain the advantage, you know? Or you could not and just remain on high ground. There's no reason to drop here. Yep, window it. I've noticed you do this a lot. You pull out your window and then you just don't use it. Um, if you pull out your window, fucking use it, man. Don't don't second guess. It was probably good to not window there because you guys cleaned up the fight, but like right now would be a great time to window. Also, you're frontlining again. So look at look at your positioning that led to that. So we uh I'm gonna go back to the start of this fight. Let them up! Okay. All right. So you guys, you guys cleaned up that fight. They're down three people. What you can do here, you don't need to go forward. Like you're not the front line. You can just chill right here with your. Where are your DPS? Do you have DPS? Are they respawning? Um. Yeah. Honestly, you can, even if you don't have DPS, you can just window right here, and you can see everybody. That Ana can die. That Cree can die. And they can't get to you because you have you still have your entire front line. So you just get your, your amp damage and you can literally just DPS for free. But instead, what you do is you run to the front line and then window. So you're running to the front line right now. You don't have to. You can still play back. But now, now you're in the front line. Now you're 8 HP and purpled, I think. You should die here. You should be dead. So that forces your lamp when you didn't need to use it. And now you window here when your tanks are already here. Who are you going to shoot with this? Because you're frontlining, you get slammed by the ball, and you're going to get booped by the ball because you're frontlining. This Kree can kill you right now. And you get boots. And I would imagine that you guys maybe even lose this fight. 60 seconds remaining. Okay, you guys still win. That's good. What you can do, I, I mean, I, I, I said this, but you can literally just chill back here. Like, you're making it way harder for yourself. You can just li literally just chill right here and, and shoot people and heal people. You don't have to move. If somebody pressures you, you can just go to the either high ground. Um, and I think I uh, I think a lot of the of the issues with your windows especially is not like lack of skill or, or mechanics or anything. It's literally just positioning. So once you once you just figure that out um, Five, you, you'll four, just get, you'll just, boom, you're just better now. You can just get so much fucking three, value for free. Two, um, I would recommend not being up here, because you can get shot. I would play this corner right here. Yep. Do you need to be jumping right now? You know they have a Widow, be very careful playing right here, because you can get picked like both of your teammates did. Oh, you should have died. If this Widow landed a shot, you're dead right now. Brandon also has no idea what he's doing, he should be playing back. And you get picked. 
So what we do to avoid that is we have maybe like our Ryan can like fight right here, but supports and DPS, they just chill right here. And then if you get a pick, yeah, you can push forward and go in. Um, but just be careful of the widow. This this entire point you lost because of I mean like your team lost because of positioning. It's not my time. Again, be careful of the widow, like corners. You need to be jumping right now. Oh. Um. So, when I when I went, oh, it's because you're walking to the front line again, and now look at you. You're fucking front lining. Fucking Chad, Chad Bap out here. One v sixing the rallying brig and Ryan. Do you need to be there? No. Can you play here and still heal everybody and shoot everybody? Yes. Did he need to lamp here? Probably not. Care of that widow. You guys should be backing right now. You should be playing that corner back there. Okay, just imagine for a second, your Ryan backs up, and their team pushes, and then you just fucking window right here and annihilate them. Imagine. But now you're getting flanked by a widow. Hello? You've, you've heard this widow shoot. Unfortunate. So like you guys should have won that fight, but you just remained in. Oh god, don't do it. Please don't do it. Yup. <laughs> Wait for your Ryan to go in. You will die. Someone's looking out. And now your team will lose this point. Person n'échappe à mon regard. My ultimate is almost ready. So let's pretend that you didn't get picked there. What do we do? We're going in. What else do we have? We have a nano and we have your window. So how do we do this? We're gonna walk with our Rhine. You're gonna walk to like around here and you're gonna window right here. And so that way you and your DPS in the back line can utilize it and then your Rhine can contest with your D.Va. And then your Ana can nano either your Rhine or your D.Va to keep contesting. By that point, you'll have D.Va bomb and shatter and then you can use those to win the, the fight and you can hold second. But getting picked kind of makes that difficult. The pain <laughs> Um, a very minor thing, but I've noticed you do this a little bit. Um, play corners, tr like try to be very, very hyper aware of corners. Cause like right now, they have a sight line to you. Like you are, you are in danger right here, especially cause they have the widow. But like if they have a Hanzo, even a Kree, you're in fucking danger right here. So just play this corner. Like you have to play so fucking scared. These players are not good, and they won't punish you, I don't think, but, like, once you start playing, like, players who are really actually playing the game, you'll get punished for this shit. Um, and then, I don't know what your fuck, what the fuck your team is doing here, but you should be holding this corner, and as soon as they start pushing, you window. Get in here. See, now we've used lamp for no reason. Where is DPS saying? You guys should not be pushing right now. Actually? 
No, you guys can push. You guys can push in fucking window right here and just kill him. Window, 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 window. You just take that corner and window right there, and then boom, you can heal Josh. You can kill their whole team. The Ryan's not even looking at you. Brandon can fire strike. I don't think you need the window and the shatter. And you only get you get one kill for two ults there. That's we need more value than that. Kill the rat. Fuck the guy. To their spawn. Let's go. Careful about getting crushed by those shits. Okay, we, you guys should back now. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Be careful again. He's. I would not trust Brandon to fucking hold his shield. And you're in LOS right now. You guys are way too far forward right now, and this Ryan is just gonna annihilate you. Okay, he's literally our guy. Uh, oh. So somewhere, if you guys are holding like this aggressively, you can play up here. Or like up here even, because look at their LOS. If you play right here, you can heal your whole team. If they back up, you can just drop. Can the Widow shoot you if she's like fucking way over there or literally frontlining? But otherwise, no. So you're completely safe right here. Um, and these are the, the positions that you want to be thinking about. <laughs> Also, what's your sensitivity? You might want to consider lowering your sensitivity slightly. You're you're a little far forward. Like you have to look all all around to see your teammates. If you're doing that, that means you're too far forward. It's like. Your, your mechanics, especially with the heal, is really, really impressive. Like, you're having to 180 and 360 in order to heal everybody and you're landing shots. That's pretty fucking good, but it, it's just like... It's so hard. You don't have to. Like, you could just play back. You're just making it difficult. I don't think you meant a window there, but this is a pretty good window. <laughs> Except you're down two. But like, this is the position that you want to put your window in when they're pushing, and like where they need to be when you window. You could window a little bit farther forward, but like, this is this is actually a good window. Because now look, I mean, Brandon fucking fed, but if he just is alive for two fucking seconds, he can get value, you can heal him, you can beam their whole team, their, your Ana can beam their whole team. If your DPS weren't feeding, they could beam their whole team. Oh yeah, you need to leave. Don't be this May. Holy fuck, don't be that May. She's literally hard feeding. That could have gone better. So instead of walking forward here, you can literally just play with your soldier. You can heal your whole team. Uh, I mean, yeah, they have LOS, but you have this heal pad. If they start to push you, you can just play this thing right here. Um, Brandon is very far forward. Um, he should really be holding right here. And so then you can just rotate to this, and then they have literally no angles on you. <laughs> No. 
you are trusting Josh's DM and nothing else to keep you alive right now, and that is very scary. <laughs> Good. Now just chill up here. This is fantastic. Please do not drop. Good fucking window. Why? Why would you drop? Why? You could just chill up there. Why window and only use it for two seconds? Just chill up here. You can heal your whole team. You can beam this diva. The soldier walks forward two inches and you can beam him. Why drop? There's no reason. You just die. Why would you bomb them? Your Rhine needs to be walking forward. I don't know that you necessarily need to be walking forward. <laughs> Chad, Chad backline. <laughs> Playing up here is a really nice angle. You just have to be careful of their DPS, but honestly, you can just probably chill up here for now. You don't have to drop. Uh, I've noticed that. Whenever you get on high ground, you like almost immediately drop, and you just don't have to. <laughs> you can just stay up there, man. Your may had ice block, you didn't need to lamp there. Something I would save my lamp for, when, when you're playing against other teams, you want to look at their team comp and say, okay, who do I need to counter with my abilities? Right now, they're close to Shatter, I would be probably saving my lamp for Shatter, or like High Noon. Um, those are the two scary ones. If they have like a grav, obviously that. If they have a sick ult, obviously that. So if you know what you're supposed to be using it for, it's a lot easier to hold on to it and not use it on like May Ice Block. You can look at this. L look at their Rhine right now. What the fuck's he doing? Just fucking window him, man. Like you guys, you guys can push up to this corner if you really want. Just, just like fucking window in, man. You'll just die. You can just punish these guys. Like, uh. Get in here. Run window. Nice. You cracked. Let them up. You're up two in the fight. Oh, I guess one. You window and then just dip. Why even use your window? What's the point? You're in Narnia, man. If they block the shatter, you don't need to limp it. They still have- their soldier is still alive with visor. I mean, like, their whole team's dead. You guys win. Nice job. But... They still have that. You don't want to use- you don't want to use your lamp. Like, you might die here. You don't want to use your lamp unless you absolutely have to. You died because you used your lamp for no reason. It doesn't matter, but... Oh shit, maybe it does. It might matter. Their bar isn't saying never mind. No 
no way you guys actually lose this, right? Get inside! Your lamp. Get in here. Get inside. Yes. Do you need to be here right now? Where where could you be playing right now? That would be safer. Like I mean, you could play up here. They literally can't look at you because they have to be on point could play in here maybe at least there's a little bit of high ground on the cover and shit I don't think you could play up here not really I mean you could like look at this angle you are too far forward here and this is why you die because the soldiers can just go around the cart and then they're going to die so you guys lose this fight? That's actually fucking wild. There's there's literally zero universes in which you should lose that. Like, zero alternate realities. Okay, your maze is popping. Lamp. Uh, I would play the window so your DPS can actually use this. Cause you window and then just leave and don't use it. Why Q? Why Q? This would be a, a good lamp. Lamp the mines, that's that's a worthy use. And then they see nine. Holy shit, what a fucking train ride. Wow. That was a roller coaster of emotions. Um Yeah, okay. Um Overall, I think positioning you're way too far forward a lot and it's just making it so much more difficult for you when it really doesn't have to be. Um you need to stop jumping all the time when you're shooting and think about like everything that you're doing needs you need to have a reason for it like if you're if you're crouch jumping why are you crouch jumping oh they have a doom fist and you're scared of getting punched okay good they have a ball and you don't want to get fucking booped in okay bet um they have a widow and you're just jumping over rind shield for no reason not not what i would consider a good reason to be jumping you know shit like that um windows you want to be looking to initiate the fight with them put them on the corner and put them where your team can use them because it's not like a solo alt that you can just throw down and then just dip out and nobody else gets to use it either you're just losing value and you need that value um so you know when when a team is pushing boom window right out the corner glock their rhine and then you're chilling. You literally win every single fight. You can just hard carry. Um, lamps. Try not to use your lamp um, when you don't have to because you'll always fucking need it at some point. So if you waste it, it kind of sucks ass. Um, yeah, I think that's, that's about it. There's a lot of information um, that I just blasted your brain with, so... Um, it, the main takeaways, I think, are the window usage and the positioning, honestly. Um, try playing farther back and uh, try using window, how I talked about, um, and you should be good. Honestly, like, I don't know how much, um, how much play time and experience you have in the game prior to this. Um, I heard you played on console, but I don't know for how much, but, um, for a newer player, uh, you're performing really, really well and just making like, um, you know, little, little, little positioning and, and ability usage mistakes. And once you fix that, like you'll be fucking cracked. Like you could easily get diamond, like no problem. Um, like once you get value out of your, your alt, it, it's free low. Um, so keep up the good work, keep grinding. Um, and, uh, 
send me another VOD by next week. <laughs> Alrighty.